Hi, my name's Rob Bates. I'm from Secret Harbour, Perth, Western Australia. I've been a surf club member for five years. I got involved in surf lifesaving through my children. I took my daughter down one day to join the club. Looked around, saw a lot of good people doing some great things on the beach. You don't have to be an elite competitor to enjoy the benefits of surf lifesaving. You know, you can be a patrolling member on the beach and um, there's roles in surf lifesaving that you don't even have to get your feet wet. I've um, been involved in a number of rescues, probably too many to remember. Uh, a couple of them been more serious than others. Uh, we had a group of six teenagers just walk straight over the, the hill onto the beach and got caught into a flash room. I had to make a decision when I got there. There was a young boy on a boogie board absolutely screaming in terror. I'll never forget his voice. And I chose to leave him there hanging onto the board to pursue further out to sea to get the um, young lady who was actually climbing the ladder and underwater at that stage. So I had to make a choice. Uh, conditions were so bad that day, we lost our IRB, it was tipped upside down. We also had a jet ski in the water and that operator was knocked off his jet ski. The outcome was they all survived. Two of them went to hospital for precautionary measures um, and they went back to their families. Cool business is saving lives, keeping people you know, fit and healthy, both in the water and on the land through first aid. It's expensive to run clubs, $20,000 for an IRB, you know, 20 plus thousand dollars for a jet ski, and then you've got to put the time, the effort, and the training. And we certainly do make a difference, and in just one day it might be your family member, we're sending home for dinner, safe and sound.